Hey guys, this is Katrin from Bookable, and this is a quick video to help you decide if Bookable is the right rental software for you. I'm going to explain the two parts of our system. The first is the front end, so either a regular website you connect with Bookable, or one you create with our rental website builder, and the back end, which manages your products, orders, customers, and more. But first, a little bit about us. Founded in 2014, at Bookable, we have a huge range of users from around the globe, from rental industries such as event and party rental, bike and outdoor gear rental, and of course, camera AV and tech rental. Our industries also include construction, clothing, and more. So let's start with your front end. If you do not want online bookings as part of your rental business workflow, you can just skip through to the next chapter of the video. If you'd like to integrate Bookable with a website you have currently, we easily integrate with websites made from WordPress, Shopify, Squarespace, and more. This works by pasting the Bookable shopping cart on your website to replace your current one, and having all of your products connected to your Bookable account through the Add to Cart button. This way, you can keep the design and feel of your website while all the important stuff like availability and pricing is managed in Bookable. However, the most popular option is to build a website with the Bookable Rental Website Builder. We have many different themes for you to choose from depending on your industry that you can fully customize with your own colors, styling, sections, and fonts. Here, I've used the Bookable Website Builder to create an engaging site for my business, Elite Rentals. You can, of course, replace the bookable domain with your own custom domain. You can add your company logo and have this appear as a fav icon in the search bar as well. You can also display product availability on your website through the availability labels that should appear and also on the individual product pages itself. You can also have availability appear in individual calendars. Each product page will have an add to cart button, the shopping cart will pop up, and then they can proceed to place their order. This is where you can set up for your online customers to pay for all or a portion of their order upfront by connecting Stripe to collect credit card payments or allowing them to pay through PayPal. And that brings us to your bookable backend. The first page you will see each time you log into your backend is the dashboard. This is the schedule of all of your pickups and all of your returns for the day. And you can also view orders from the past or future through changing the time period you see on this calendar button here. You will be notified of any late returns or late pickups with a little number here. And you can click into that and be taken to the late column of your orders page. You can click into any order from the orders page or you can click into the order straight from the dashboard. And updating your bookable account is as easy as just clicking into an order and moving the product from reserved to picked up. When you click the pickup button, you will be asked to specify the stock items. Uh, if you track your products uh, individually, you can add stock item numbers or you can use the barcode scanner to scan them directly using your smartphone onto the order. And there's a tutorial in our help center for everything to do with scanning barcodes through our mobile app. Now, uh, either from your dashboard or your orders page, you can see that this order has been moved to the return column and is set to its specific return time schedule. Whenever you're ready to return it, you simply click into that again and hit the return button. And once you are ready and finished with this order, you can simply just archive it to remove it from the orders page. Creating a new order, either for in-store, over the phone or email orders is as simple as just adding a new order or clicking the blue cross in the top left-hand corner and assigning a customer and adding in the rental dates and times that they choose for their order. Clicking the product search bar will bring up all of your products and their availability. As you can see, I have some different product types set up. I have my valuable products such as these speakers, such as the glass table sculptures that I wanna track individually. 
through stock item numbers, which I can scan on to the order quickly, or I can use the stock item numbers, or I have items that I track just by their quantities. So these silver dining cutlery pairs, there's just too many of them to individually uh, identify with stock item numbers or label with barcodes. So I track those in bulk. For some of my other products as well, I do have different variations. So for my disposable napkin sets, which I sell, uh, you can learn more about selling products through Bookable in our help center. I have those available in different variations. So I'm going to select the product that I would like onto this order. And once selected, you can see how many of this product is left after this order. You can see all the order amount details here with the total uh, excluding tax and then the tax added on and then any security deposits automatically automatically assigned based on what we've got set up in our settings. Lastly, you can add any uh, custom information to your order. Um, this can also be applied to the online checkout to collect all of this information from your online customers as well. And when you are sure of this order, you can press reserve. And now these items are taken out of availability for these dates for any other customer. Over to the right hand side, we have all of our extra actions we can take. We can add some extra notes about the order, tag the order, and also collect payment. So if we click the payment due button, whenever we're ready to take payment from the customer, we can either take a manual payment, which can be a bank transfer, an external card payment. So maybe you have an FPOS machine in store that you take payments for externally. You can register those payments here or also a cash payment or you can send a payment request. These are links that you can create for the certain payment and deposit amount that you can copy and send via email. We'll go through emails shortly and the customer can pay for that order through the link on their end anytime they're ready or you can take a credit card payment. So you can enter in the customer's credit card details to charge for the order, or uh, which is really handy for security deposits, you can also authorize for the deposit amount or for any amount. An authorization freeze holds a certain amount of funds on the customer's card, it doesn't charge it, and then it releases it back into the account automatically after a period of time. So once you register a payment, or charge a payment for this order, you can see the payment status has been updated and you can refund or delete or edit any payments at any time. And now maybe we would want to send a document. So for sending to the customer, you can create a invoice, a contract and a quote. These are all adjustable documents uh, that you can adjust the templates for in your bookable settings. Check out our help center for details on that. So to send a quote to this customer, all I need to do is click quote and I have my document automatically created for me with all of the relevant information. If the customer is there in store with me, I can pass the mouse pad or the laptop or the mobile device that I'm working from over to them and they can sign for this order. I can also do that on a contract and you can also in your document settings, add your terms and agreements here as well. It will be stamped confirmed and you can go ahead and send that over as an email attachment with one of our handy automatically generated email templates, which of course you can adjust in your settings. This fills out with all of the relevant information about this customer's order and you can send it through when you're ready. Another email you can send out to your customers when their order is reserved is our automatically generated order confirmation email. For customers who order online, they will get this email automatically, but for orders you place in the back end, this is a super easy way to notify your customers on their order. And now let's go through how to adjust the dates and times your customers can select for their online rental orders. In your bookable account, go to your settings and click rental periods and operating hours. This is where you can choose the times your rental store is open for order pickup and returns. You can choose certain times for certain days, like the weekdays and weekends. 
If you scroll up, you'll see the option for customers to choose any date and time within these hours. This means customers can choose an order to last as long or as short as they like. The next option is fixed duration, which limits customers to a one or two day rental, for example. They only have to select their pickup date as their order duration is fixed. You can also turn time selection off for either one of these options and scroll up to set your default order times. So all orders are set to be picked up and returned at the same time of day, regardless of how long they last. This means the time selection bar will be removed from the date picker. Having time selection turned off is also an option for fixed durations to remove the time selector drop-down menu from the online date picker. If your orders do not last more than one calendar day, you can also set up fixed time slots. So orders can only last for a period of hours from nine to 12 or 12 to five, for example, within one day. You can also set up different time slots to apply from different days of the week and customers can select their day and their time slots from the online date picker. Whatever settings you choose, you can scroll down to apply them to your manual orders. This allows you to make sure that your team is placing orders for the right times and durations that you've organized in your settings. Now let's set up your availability. In your settings and under online reservations and the preferences page, you will see that your product availability is turned on. This means your online store will show the availability of each of your products and you can also have an availability calendar on each of your product pages. That shows the future availability of this product and which times of day it is available for pickup and return. You can also select disable availability if you'd like to accept rental orders regardless of if a product is available or not. You can check out our help center tutorial for how to change your checkout into a wish list to accept requests instead of reservations. These settings make Bookable the perfect solution for rental businesses renting out physical products and make it perhaps not the best solution if you're renting out services or subscriptions. Finally, let's see how you can price your products in Bookable. From the inventory page, you can click into any product and hit the pricing panel. And your first option is not to charge for your products and you can go into your Bookable settings to learn how to hide the prices on your online store. For your rental products, you can choose between a fixed fee, which is $80 a day, week, hour, or month, for example, or a fixed price, which is a set $80, regardless of how long the order is. Or a popular option is to set up a pricing structure for this product, which means you can set the price for a one-day rental, and then you can also set a different price for a two-day rental. So you're lowering the day rate uh, the longer that the customer books. So you're rewarding customers for longer bookings. You can also use automatic increments to set the extra day rate for every extra day, hour, week, or month added on to the order. Again, this is a great way to reward customers for the longer they book. Down from there, you can also add on a pricing rule set. Check out a tutorial in our help center to learn how to increase or decrease the price of the product per day of the week, such as weekends, or maybe even date of the year, such as Christmas. Down from there, you can add an individual security deposit just for this product, such as $50 refundable security deposit every time this particular product is ordered, or if you'd like to set security deposits to apply for all of your products, you can go to your pricing page, scroll down to security deposits, and choose between a fixed amount or an order amount percentage, for example. And of course, you can manage the most important day-to-day -day tasks of your rental business through the Bookable mobile app.